guys, it's Elizabeth finding Elizabeth. And what? It's not Monday. What day is it? I don't know. I've sort of lost track because of the holidays. I think it's Saturday uh, and I'm making a video and I posted one last night too. What's up with that? Well, honestly, I think what's up with that is I'm <laughs> avoiding real life. I'm avoiding the fact that I need to find a place to live in the next 30 days and that I have about 2,000 unread work emails that I need to deal with. Yeah, so I'd rather make a video. Oh, and then there's the dinner party that I set up in my house for tomorrow night and told everybody to come at 5, um, which is when the Naked Truth starts, which I um, totally forgot about. So yeah, I decided it would be <laughs> more fun to make a video than to deal with real life. But anyway, I don't know that I've ever done a tag video, but I saw um, one today that Gina Pearson did. It was a New Year's tag, and I thought it was fun, and so I wanted to do it. And I wanted to hear what you guys had to say about it. So I got to put my glasses on for this. So, Okay. If you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? Uh, well, there were a lot of memories last year, but I always like want to tend to go with the thing that first comes to mind. And I think, um, I think it would be a rather recent memory uh, in early November. The first time that um, I actually met the guy that I'm dating now. Um, there was, I don't know, there was a lot of buildup and, um, I was so nervous and I sort of wish I could go back and relive that experience again because it was fun and nice. Um, what was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? I don't know that I set New Year's resolutions last year. I'm, um... I don't know that there's a difference, but I tend to set goals instead of resolutions. But one of the things that I said last year was that I'm gonna, I was going to do 200 workouts. I didn't do 200 workouts, but I did uh, almost 100 with Brandon and probably another 50, which is probably about 150 more than I've done in any other year. So I guess I could say that physical activity has become a part, a natural part of my life that I miss when I'm not doing it. Um, I was telling Brandon this morning that I had walked to the beach yesterday and that that used to be a workout, but now it was just like nothing. I just do it because I feel like I need to move my body and get out of the house. So I would say, although it might not have been specifically a resolution, that um, having physical activity is a natural part of my life that I actually enjoy um, would be the answer to question, that question. Three words to describe last year. Love, laughter, joy. It was a great year. Um, something you're looking forward to this coming year? Well, there's lots of things I'm looking forward to. Um, to be in a pro positive frame of reference, I'm looking forward to living in a new place. Okay, I'm trying to convince myself of this. I'm looking forward to spending more time with all of you, my weight loss surgery friends. I'm looking forward to having more, um, I don't know, just more love in my life this year, even more than I had last year. Um, what did last year teach me? I think more than anything, the lesson that I learned last year was that um, I deserve to be loved and I'm capable of being loved and loving and being open and vulnerable and um, that life is better than I could ever even imagined it would have been. Uh, what was the mo your most worn clothing item of last year? Hmm. I can't think of one particular thing. Um, jeans, definitely. Before I lost weight, I never wore jeans. I only wore, like, stretchy leggings. Um, and boots. Boots have been pretty popular, too. So, jeans and boots, maybe? Um, if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? Um, I'll quote uh, Scotty R N Y, fantastic, <laughs> or another word, in fucking incredible. Twenty fifteen was a great year, and I'm looking forward to twenty sixteen. Even topping that because I turned fifty in twenty sixteen, and you know fifty is like the new thirty, only with wisdom. Um, <laughs> what am I hoping for more of this coming year? More of all those things I said in my three words: more love, more laughter, more joy, more experiences, more abundance, more blessings, more um, 
I don't know. I just feel so grateful and happy with the life that I have. And I only want that um, expanded exponentially because, you know, why not ask for what you want? And I deserve it. Uh, what am I hoping for less of this coming year? Um, stomach? Loose skin around my stomach, maybe? I don't know. Maybe plastic surgery is in the offing in 2016? We'll see. What's the best book that I read last year? Um, I don't remember, but I'm going to say, just because the whole idea of vulnerability and NMC has come up multiple times in this video, is Daring Greatly. Is that even the name of the book? I think that's the name of the book by Brene Brown. Um, was a really powerful book for me. I also like Jen Larson's book. Um, we had her on The Naked Truth, if you want to check it out, because of course I can't remember the name of it right now. But, um... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and what's my New Year's resolutions for the upcoming year? Like I said, I don't do resolutions, but the goals that I have um, hit my weight loss goal, which is about 30 pounds from where I am now. So lose 30 pounds, even though I shouldn't say that my number one goal is to lose weight, but my number one goal is to reach the goal that I set for myself around my weight loss. Um, from a physical fitness perspective, 125 workouts with Brandon. And I want to do a half marathon, um, which is kind of crazy considering I can basically run the length of a basketball court and back right now. Um, and then those are the only resolutions that relate to like weight loss surgery and weight loss. Um, I think I need to focus on some other areas of my life. I think one of my goals is to continue to, um, I don't know, be open and authentic and open uh, and be open to accepting and believing <laughs> uh, people's love. I don't know how I do that as a goal, but it's just something that I want to be aware of. I want to go back to therapy and take that on in a serious way because um, different issues have come up for me now that I'm getting into relationships again with um, men. Uh, I need to get my financial situation straightened out. Uh, I need to, that's one area where it sort of doesn't matter how much money I make, I always spend it all. So I need to get that under control and take that on. And was there anything else? I can't remember. I think that was it. I think that's all I had. So I am going to tag anybody who wants to do this for starters. And then I'm going to tag all those people who I tagged in my 2015 year in review video who were part of that who make videos or have made videos in the last, you know, couple of months. So who are those people? Patty. Watch Patty Mount. Sherry, the real Sherry Bear. Courtney, um, VSG Redesigned Me. Lauren Losing. Melly May. Mandy Revised Army Wife. Gastric Tiger. Lindsay Fly. Amy Gets a VSG. Uh, VSG Kirk. Uh, VSG Granny. Randy, did you change your name from Granny? I know we talked about that because you're so not a Granny. Um, Monica, Cece, Tanya, Gastric Rose, Beautiful Alicia, Tara, Gracie, No One Stopping Me But Me, Kim Gibbs, Jennifer Bleacher, and anybody else who wants to do it and anybody else that I tagged in my 2015 video who I just thought, well, you don't really make videos anymore, so I'm not going to mention you. But this might be a good video to start back with. Okay, you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow night on The Naked Truth with uh, Candy Pants, Pam O'Neill, and Jennifer Bleacher, and on Monday night with my regular update video. All right, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.